Robbie Weeds here. Got a turf stand that uh, after years and years of only using a three-way herbicide, only using triplet, um, it never completely kills off the wild violet. So after eight to 10 years of only triplet, um, you could see there's no crabgrass, no, you know, a little nuts edge, but uh, um, it's just never completely killing the wild violet. And after years of using one herbicide, this wild violet's more than likely built up a resistance to um, that herbicide. So, uh, you know, you could spray it with a triplet and uh, it might burn the fringe of the, the leaf. Um, you might see some damage, some curling. But as you can see, it's never killing it all the way. It's probably barely even stunning it. Even if you burn all the foliage, obviously the plant isn't dying. The crown of the plant and the, the roots are still thriving. Um, so at this point, we're talking that you come in here with a... Um, this is, even though there's a house here, this is actually a commercial site. So you could use Confront, which is Clopyralid and Triclopier. Um, and I would probably juice that up with a, a, a surfactant. Um, um, I use organo silicone uh, surfactants, but any surfactant would help. Um, but yeah, you're looking at trying to use a very strong systemic herbicide or even um, uh, using carfentrazone, either speed zone, uh, that's a two, four, a couple things, and carfentrazone, that contact um, herbicide carfentrazone does very well with wild violet and some other very difficult to control weeds. It burns just enough of the foliage all the way down to the crown that it, it kills a plant. A lot of time, a lot of different, uh, nuts edge is an example of that doesn't die when you, uh, you kill the crown, but a ton of weeds, you kill the crown of the plant, the entire plant dies. So carfentrazone is an example of you could burn the foliage and the crown and you wipe out the, the weeds. So carfentrazone is an option for this, or you're using a the pyridine um, uh, herbicides, clopyralid or um, triclopier to burn this off. And it's probably gonna need two applications because you don't wanna run too hot. And Because there's a lot of grass here. Once you clean up the wild violet, this is gonna be a very, very nice turf stand. But as of right now, it's uh, literally a field of wild violet. So yeah, that's what you gotta do. Um, you know, use a very strong uh, systemic um, or uh, Carpenter zone is what I would do. Those are the two options. Or even step one, use the um, the systemics and then Carpenter zone to uh, spot spray and finish it off. Uh, second application. All right, Robbie, weeds out.